What's good, folks? Once again, it's me, Shalako. Sha Fitness underscore tattoo art on Instagram and CMDDOS on Twitter. Bringing to you another what? Dope video on some dope kicks. So without further ado, hey, yo. Say hello to the bad guy with the dope kicks. Rest in peace, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall from WWE for y'all that don't watch wrestling. So, you already know how we start. Hey, yo. It's the genie in the box. The genie in the box. The what? 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 Ticky, 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 chi. Say hello to the genie in the box. All right. As you can see, it's a bright orange Nike box. Bright, bright, bright. Pull out joint. You know what I'm saying? It's dope because they got the the end on this side with the swoosh. And then the IKE and the rest of the swoosh over here. You know what I'm saying? Back side of the box. Big Nike joint on top. Yo, they sent this in a mad big box. The box was ginormous. You know what I'm saying? For this little ass box. Come in comparison to the to the box that they sent it in. But um, whatever. It still came. Nice, not damaged. Came in a timely manner as well. Um, these are the Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai. Bang! See that? Nike Vapor Waffle Sakai. Very, very dope. Very dope collab. It's a collab, right? With a, a designer. Um, yeah. You don't see these joints. These joints is crazy. So, of course, on this paper that's in the box, it says Nike Sakai all over it. You know what I'm saying? On the paper. And then there's another set of papers. You know what I'm saying? Protecting the kicks. Shh. Douche. All right. Pull out box as you can see. Boom. Slide that joint back in there. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Right there. So here we go. Bang. There go the toes. There go the heels. Look at the heels. All right. Now we got medial lateral sides medial lateral sides black and gum joints you know black and gum is classic colorway so had to cop these right i was happy to win a chance to cop them i should say <laughs> and they go to the heels again they go to the bottom so you can see that awesome gum classic gum sole you know what i'm saying they go to tops, all right, tops of the shoes. I'm gonna post some pictures in the video as well so you can see all that. Um, the tongue, double tongue, double tongue, all right? Then we also have three, count them, three sets of laces, a pair of round laces, no, no bag, no poly bag, Psst. Nike slipping. Um, and then the other two sets of laces is in actually in the sneaker. So uh, they're both flat. One's the, I guess you could say the regular flat joints, right? Regular flat joints they always have. And then these are more, these are flat as well, but they're more like a ribbon. And they're really thin. You know what I'm saying? My, I most likely won't wear both of these in there. I'm probably gonna just take one out and probably just leave this one in. Or maybe even see how these look. Or maybe even try to get a different color set of laces just to throw in there just to spice it up a little bit. But it's all types of little details on these. I remember when I first seen these, I was like, what in the world are they doing with this extra booty? <laughs> That's what I call it, the extra booty back here. You know what I'm saying? I haven't tried them on yet. I will um, just to kind of see how they feel, if there's any difference from a regular sneaker. And like I said, I wear 13, so they're already pretty long as it is, but... I noticed when on this part, the way they did it, 
they brought this part. You know, it usually stops at the top. It starts at the top of your foot, well, right past your toes, basically. So where your instep, instep goes. It went past that. I feel like this thing is basically on top of your toes, almost. Uh, where this piece starts, where the laces start, which is different. Um, I guess that gives a different aesthetic when you're looking at the sneakers. Um, I wouldn't consider these, I mean, they're runners or designer, if you will, designer runners, but I wouldn't run in these because I wouldn't, yeah, these wouldn't be running sneakers. But they did this nice waffle pattern on the bottom. Kind of reminds me of the New Balance 576 right here, this bottom. That's what this bottom reminds me of. But I know they said it's for a waffle iron, but um, that's what I, when I see this, that's what I think. Um, when I look at them straight on, they kind of look kind of funny too. Like they kind of, I don't know. They just, I guess I gotta put them on, man. Really. And then the double swoosh on the side. Since it's all black, it's kind of hard to see unless you're looking at them like you know, like in hand basically, or you get some good lighting on them. But it's a leather swoosh here, um, and then it's in like a painted on swoosh here, right? Possibly contemplating customizing these and making these swooshes another color we'll see um the in the medial uh swoosh is also leather nice leather uh it's suede on the toe box nice brush suede you know i love the brush suede when you know when you can brush your finger across it you know what i say it's a good quality suede right um around the eyelets same brush suede going down the top there all the way from here all the way back Brush suede. They also have a nylon tongue. These tongues are nylon. All both of them. <laughs> but I think they just stitched onto each other, man. I don't, I'm not sure if it... Yeah, it feels like there's two tongues in there. Yeah, it is. Let me take this thing out. I haven't been taking this paper out yet, but... Yeah, it's basically... Yep, two tongues in there. Which is crazy. But they're stitched together. So... One is behind the other which is kind of crazy. So the laces go through both tongues. The lace go through both tongues to keep both tongues up because there's literally two tongues in there. Um, and one of the tongues obviously says Nike Sportswear, which is the closest one. And then the furthest away tongue says Nike Sakai, right? That same Nike Sakai that I said was on the paper is back here on the heel tab, right here. Also has a heel pull tab with a little mini swoosh right there. I would have liked a little mini swoosh right here or here too. That would have been dope. But hey, it's the way they wanted to make it. So, and it has like some kind of material looking, shiny material right up in here, neck on a nylon. And it's like black. It's like it's blacked out. Everything's black, murdered out. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's very different. These are very, very different. Uh, these midsoles, it's nice and soft for, to the touch. I wouldn't know yet till I put them on as far as how they feel on the bottom, but yeah, they look they're pretty dope though. Pretty dope. I was surprised I won because when I tried for the um the white and red and blue pair, uh struck out. So saw these pop up and I was like, yo, let me try again. And I hit on these, which was surprising. Um seen one guy on, on Twitter, he hit on both the black and the white. I didn't even try for the white because I don't be crazy about white kicks like that, like all white kicks, because all white with the gum bottom. So it was basically, I guess you could call it a pack, black and white pack um, with the gum bottoms. I have the Air Force One, if you want to call them a pack, all black with the gum bottom, all white with the gum bottom, and they both tumble leather. Crazy, crazy quality, dope. You know what I'm saying? I told you Nike like to do the, the dope quality when they feel like it, but um, yeah, man, it's a pretty dope kick, man. I, like I said, Got to try them on and see how I like them on, on foot. But um, these are definitely a, a hot commodity sneaker. A lot of hype around them. Uh, I don't know if, it's, if you want to say this colorway has the hype, but the other colorways did have a lot of hype. And, um, of course, they're on those sites going for some change, but whatever. I'm glad I got these for retail. That's all that matters. You know what I'm saying? Um, and a classic colorway, once again. So leather on the heel tab, leather on the heel right here. Nylon in the midfoot, right here, on these mid panels with the nylon tongue, the brush suede leather, I mean the brush suede, you know what I'm saying, black suede, which I told you I love, because that tells me it's good quality, and they smell, you can smell the leather too, smells really good, you can tell it's genuine, 
genuine, genuine, genuine. Premium materials on these joints. It's good for the collab. But I don't know about this yet. I'm, we're going to see. When I try them on and wear them around and see how this is going down the stairs. If you have a pair and you've been wearing them, let me know how you, how you feel about this as far as walking and walking downstairs and things of that nature. Because I feel like this thing will get caught, man. But all this stuff is nice and soft. So hopefully the comfort level... Um, is there as well because like I said these are basically to me designer runners um but definitely not running in them and I'm a runner <laughs> so yeah man so that's pretty much it Q. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys these and um you know what I mean give you a quick video on them if you got any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section and once again follow me on Instagram S H A Fitness underscore tattoo art and on PlayStation Network and Twitter C M D D O S of course N W O once again for life for life for life right N W O Scott Hall Razor Ramon Hey yo say hello to the bad guy me 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 <laughs> um once again man that's pretty much it guys. Hey!